Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Okay, so, <clears throat> first of all, welcome back. Second, I have been working on this handbrake video for I don't know, about a week. This is, this would be my third time filming it. And I'm not happy with how it's going. I got this all freed up. I'll, uh, I may include some clips from the other videos that I've taken, uh, provided they're still on the camera. But I, it just didn't sit right with me. So I'm doing it again. But this time I'm going to do it on the car. So if we take a look at the car, we see the handbrake, obviously. Okay, this one's got the spring where it's supposed to be. And you've got your, your neutral there. You've got, watch the pedal. Hold on, let me put some light on here. Okay, watch the pedal. You've got your high gear there. Bring it back in case you missed it. See how little that moves? Just a little bit. Okay, and then behind that, you've got your emergency brake. So, I think the best way to do this, to show you how this works, is not to restore it, but to actually show you on the car what parts do what. So, I'm going to climb down on the floor, which in the improved cars we're about a foot up, in the improved cars we're about a foot off the ground here. I'm going to try and get the camera in there. If that doesn't work, we'll take the floor out. I really don't want to take the floor out. But so give me a second. Let me lay down on the ground and show you what happens when we do what we just did with the thingy. Hang on. Okay, the clown is down. Come along for the journey. There's my Warford, my little insulation on it for sound. Oh, oh I covered the mic up here, didn't I? Okay, I think we have that in frame. I think you should be able to see it. So what we've got going on here is we have the clutch arm on the engine. We've got, I'm not sure you can see it from this angle, but up in here we've got a bolt in the arm that rides on this cam. Now the cam is attached to the lever, which is also attached to, not the best run for fuel line, is it? Anyway, squirrel, the, uh, rod is attached to this piece which is the lever that we had our hands on so when the pedal moved <clears throat> this rocked down and put it in and out of high gear now let me get you set oh, this thing is <laughs> extremely difficult to film because I'm tipping the my tiny little tripod Okay, I guess he's walking the dog. Okay, so in here, we see the teeth on this piece here, which is, oh, my paint's coming off. What the hell is going on over here? Must be brake fluid. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so here you see the, the lever that I have my hand on right here. Attached to the shaft, attached to the cam, it goes over, there's a, my other camera here. Or have I gone down too far? Okay, so the lever goes up. This paw rides on the teeth. That's your ratchet. And then down in the bottom here. Okay, on here normally we have a rod. Now I have cables because on the other end there's another one of these that moves the brake. We'll get to that when we do the rear end. But 
the problem with it is if you go too far, it actually, the cam goes the other way and activates the brake when you're in high gear. So I upgraded to cables. I haven't had any problems with them at all since. Uh, yeah, that's about it. And there's another one on the other end, just like this. We saw that on the, um, the one I have on the, the bench. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the handbrake. And uh, you squeeze the handle and it releases this, this paw. So you squeeze the handle and it releases this paw and frees it so it can go forward. Um, same way any ratchet works. So, yeah, very simple. Very simple setup. Show you the other one over there. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, over there you can see the other cable on the other end for the other brake. Yep, not complicated. Now I get now I gotta get out of here. Ugh. Now that we're up here, you can see the handbrake lever that I squeezed. I didn't have to take the floor out, so that's good. This rod comes down to the pawl that was on there, just like that. And that goes up and down. I'll show you with the old one. And it goes up and down like that. There we go. That goes up and down like that with this rod and releases from the quadrant. And the quadrant looks like this on the car with the teeth and all that. Now, given that I do not know what I'm building, I'm leaning towards torpedo. So, longer hood, seat further back, different steering column, all that. If I do that, <clears throat> I believe this needs to be rekeyed so I can reach it. Because if I'm back, if I'm back like this, I can't reach it in high gear, or if I have to get out of my seat, that's not entirely safe. So I think this is going to get clocked backwards just a little bit, so that instead of neutral being straight up and down as they are now, uh, neutral be a little bit back, forward or high gear will be straight up and down, and then the e-brake will be, you know off that way somewhere so and I do believe if I do that on this one I'm gonna have to do it on this one unless I go with the cables and make them different lengths so I'm not sure I'm not sure like I said I filmed this this video this is the third try I started sanding on this I started grinding on it and it, uh, it just didn't it didn't feel right I want to give you guys the best content we can, you can get, the best explanations that you can get. And like I said, you know that's that's neutral right now. So on the torpedo, I believe the 11 torpedo, uh, I believe neutral is going to be back here somewhere, and the seat will be back. You now another further back. That'll allow this to lay down. I don't know. It's a theory. I don't know if it's going to happen yet. We haven't got the car even remotely close to being assembled. So there's plenty of time for that. And if you have any suggestions, I'm all ears if you have any suggestions. So, so I think this is going to get a coat of black paint and sit back aside for a little while until I've made up my mind. I was thinking about putting ball bearings in here too, but I don't know, it might be a little overkill. So, yeah, let me see if I can do this. Okay, here we go. Handbrake says, good night everybody. Talk to you soon. <laughs>